Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the uh, schematic symbol part editor. Um, it's how you would create schematic symbols inside AllCAD Capture. So I'm going to make a 32-way connector and I'm going to do uh, three different examples of this to show you the three different methods. So I've gone File, New Library, made a new library, called it Connector and saved it uh, in a different location. I can then select the library name in the project window and we'll do a new part. Um, so let's give it a name, 32W. My part prefix is going to be J. Uh, my PCB footprint is actually cons32w. So in this first example, I'm going to make um, a homogeneous part. So it's the same part graphic, and I'm going to make it uh, 32 individual pins. So it's 32 parts per package, homogeneous. We'll click OK. I then get this kind of this surrounding box. So we'll start off. We'll, we'll draw the the outline first. So if we do, uh, we can use the place menu. And there's an arc and there's a place line and these also correspond to the icons on the right hand side so we we'll use place arc i'm effectively going to click the start point um, the radius point and then the end points escape key to kind of end that once we've got it there i'm going to do a control c and a control v so we've now got two of them we'll then effectively select it and we'll do a right click mirror um, horizontal and that's actually placed it in the right location i'm then going to draw a line so add line and we'll effectively add lines there and there and there and there and I can then effectively drag this down to be the correct location I'll put my reference estimate data central the value property I'm not really interested in so I'm going to select the value property and then I can click on the do not display so in the the, the basic attributes for that so it doesn't show me the part properties um, so let's add some pins so it's um the place and place pin command so my pin i'm just going to call it con i'm not really interested in the pin name um, in this example uh, it's connect to pin number one i'm going to use a short pin graphic um, the type is passive that's fine now the key part here is do pin number increment for the next section so this will then automatically number all the different sections for me um, so we'll click ok that gives me effectively pin one well then um, let's look at the pin and in this scenario I want the pin I don't want to see the pin number so I'm just going to go to properties and we want pin number visible uh, pin name visible sorry we're just going to turn that off so we don't see effectively that con number um, if I then look effectively I've got section 7 and that gives me section 7 let's look at section 18 and finally section 32 so I've got my 32 way connector I'm happy with that so I'm just going to do a right click save and then we can then close that and that's my first example I've got con32 so we'll do another one let's do uh, a new part this one we'll call con32w underscore one um, still a j as a reference it's still a con32w as my PCB footprint I'm gonna leave the rest of the basics as they are because I'm just going to do one connector symbol um, and in this example I'm going to use the place pin array command so my starting name, uh, we'll call it one, my starting number, pin number one, I want 16 pins, pin spacing one, uh, short style pin again, passive type pin, um, pin increment for the next pin, uh, we're going to do every two and we'll do the, the odds and the evens effectively, we'll click OK and then that gives me effectively 16 pins, so we'll then go to the place uh, pin array command again, this time we'll start on two, and two and in this scenario that's all the same so we'll click OK and this should give me the even pin numbers so we'll just zoom out so there's my 32 way connector what we'll do is we'll just drag the bounding box down a little bit and then we can draw a rectangle let's give you an outline I've got a J reference the value again I'm not really interested in this so we'll just um, we'll hide the value do not display and that's my connector so we can do a right click save and then we'll close that <coughs> so that's two options the final option effectively we're going to do a new part from spreadsheet so this is going to be con 32 way underscore two it's one section it's using j now i can either use alpha alphabetic or numeric as the part numbering uh, we'll just leave it as uh, alphabetic We've just got one basic symbol and then here I can literally just go to Excel so I, I've got 32 uh, pins so I'm effectively going to go to th 32 pins 1 to 32 we'll do a control C here we'll come back to the capture window control V for the number control V for the name the type I'm just going to drag select them all 
once I've got the 32 pins, I can then start typing. So this one is going to be a passive, and you can see as soon as it picks up on the passive, it then auto populates. That's the same for the shape. So the shape would be a short. Pin group we don't need to worry about. The position, where do I want these, left or right? Let's put these on the left. And then which section? So they're all going to be in section one, or section A, sorry. So we'll do A for section A. We'll then save the symbol. That then builds 32-way pin, or connector, sorry. And there's my, my connectors.